Hi everyone, my name is Kevin Labadee and I'm a resident in the Department of Surgery at the University of Washington. I'll be spending some time with you as we go over the antimicrobial section of the microbiology chapter. This is a very high yield section, both for step one and beyond. We're going to be discussing life-saving drugs that you'll be using no matter what field of medicine you go into. I want you to know five things about each class of medication. I want you to be familiar with the drug names, the mechanisms of action, the clinical use, the toxicity of these medications, and the resistance pattern bacteria can form uh, against these medications. In clinical practice, antimicrobial therapies are the most high yield medications we use. In layman's terms, antimicrobial therapy is referred to as antibiotics. We use these medications all the time. We use these all the time in hospitals and clinics worldwide. There are a lot of different antibiotics you need to be familiar with. With that comes a lot of information you need to be able to recall for your step one exam. I'm going to do my best to break this material down and synthesize it in a way that is memorable for you. So this is a, a wonderful figure from the first aid text that nicely organizes all the different uh, antimicrobial or antibiotic uh, medication and where in the cell th they work. So there are essentially six key processes that are targeted by our antibacterial therapies. Our drugs can affect cell wall synthesis, folic acid synthesis and reduction, DNA integrity, mRNA synthesis, can uh, target the DNA gyrase enzyme, or can also affect protein synthesis. So we can see here that our drugs that we use target a variety of cellular mechanisms in the bacterial cell. The key principle of antibacterial therapy is that these drugs target cellular processes that are unique to bacteria. By targeting the bacteria cells processes, such as DNA synthesis or cell wall synthesis, these drugs will either kill the bacteria or they will stop the bacteria from replicating. And that's the difference between bactericidal and bacteriostatic antibiotic medication. So now let's spend some time reviewing each of these classes of medications and how they work to kill off these harmful bacteria.